Hello everyone and welcome to another BCP library video. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be experimenting with paint to show you how you can create some really fun and abstract paintings with things that you find at home. Maybe you have some sponges, some toilet roll tubes, some forks, spoons, even some toys and we're going to get started right now. So first of all I'm going to make a flower painting and for this you need a toilet roll inside and to cut it like I have done here cut some strips about halfway down and flatten it out then you want to cover those bits with some paint you can either dip, dip it in the paint like I'm doing here or you can get a paintbrush and paint it on I am doing a red flower so I'm covering mine in some red paint as you can see and once you have got all the paint on as much as you can you don't need to put too much paint on either, just a thin coat will be fine because otherwise it will take longer to dry and you might end up putting your hand in it. And then you just want to press it on the page like a stamp. And the idea is that we're gonna use lots of things that we find at home, like toys, sponges, um, even toilet roll tubes like, like this one. And we're gonna just make some fun patterns and experiment, but just make sure you've got permission to use whatever you're using and that the paint you use is cheap paint and it does wash off. So I wouldn't use your most expensive toys or most expensive cutlery, just to make sure you've got permission and have some fun. So now I'm using a cotton bud to add some dots into the middle of my flowers. I'm using some green and some yellow like this. And now I'm taking a spoon and I'm going to make some blue flowers. So I'm just putting some paint on the spoon and the spoon makes really good petal shapes like this. So I'm just again stamping it on, adding a bit more paint and stamping it on about five or six petals to make the flower. And again, we will use the cotton, cotton bud to add some dots in the middle of the flower. So you can do whatever you like, you can use whatever you like. I'm just using things that I found around my home. You don't have to paint flowers, you can just do lots of shapes. And now I've got a leaf and you can use real leaves. This is a pretend leaf that I have at home, but you can use some real leaves if you want to because it's getting into autumn now. And you can just put some paint on your leaf and put it on your page like a stamp like this and here I have a little stencil that is like a butterfly so I put some paint on it and it stamps a butterfly flying in the flowers and this is my abstract garden flower painting. So now I'm going to do a galaxy so I'm just taking a sponge and adding some purple blue and red on the page first just randomly just dabbing it onto the paper with my sponge and then adding some black paint you don't want to use too much black paint here because it's nice to have colors in our galaxy but the sponge will blend the colors together nicely and you just need to dab on to cover your page and once you are happy with your galaxy you then need to leave your paint to dry and make sure it is completely dry maybe put it aside and work on another painting while this paint is drying because otherwise it won't work when we do the top layer so my paint is dry now as you can see and i found a star and it's uh, attached to a fairy so i'm just painting that white and this paint this cheap paint that you can get from craft shops from the children's section will wash off your toys and your plastic stuff quite easily but maybe don't use your favourite toy because you don't want to ruin it and I'm just stamping down a star shape with some white on top so it looks like a star in the galaxy and I also use the cotton bud again to add some circles and now I've got an old toothbrush which I use for painting added some white on there and just flicked it around to make lots of little stars you can maybe draw some planets on top maybe you can cut out some planet shapes and put them on your page and then do the sponging over the top a bit like a stencil it's completely up to you you can use whatever you have at home you might even want to do an ocean with some blue paint and then you might have a fish toy that you can put some paint on and stamp it is totally up to you but make sure you don't use your favorite toy just in case you ruin it but all the paint should wash off and there is my galaxy painting so now I found a toy motorbike 
and I am adding some green paint to the wheels and then I'm going to ride the motorbike up my page and we're going to make some really long stalks. So once you have enough paint on your, on your wheel, I am now going to ride the motorbike up the page like this. There we go. And I'm going to do this a few times um, because I want to create some very tall flowers. And the texture on the wheels gives a nice texture to the paint. So here are my stalks and I'm just doing the last one now. There we go. And once I had done all of my long stalks, I got some more of the cotton buds. I put three together this time rather than just using one at a time. And I'm doing that because it will be quicker and it will make lots of clumps and I'm doing some nice lavender so I'm using a bit of purple and blue just mixing the purple and blue and just going down a few of the stalks like this and I'm just doing the last one now and I think this looks very effective and I think it is my favorite painting out of the ones that I have done today And I also have a guitar plectrum, which is a thing that you use to play the guitar. Maybe you have something similar at home. And I'm just getting some green paint and just dabbing it on to make some leaves. And again, I have my butterfly like that because I thought it would fit quite nicely. And finally, I just have a plastic comb that I'm using to add some leaves and a bit more texture. And here is my finished painting. So these are my experimental paintings with things that I found at home. You might not have exactly the same things as I do, but you can maybe find some things at home that are similar or completely different and you can just experiment with paint.